I am Groot. Uh, no. No. That was absolutely not fun, you stupid log. Okay. <clears throat> not my best effort. Not my worst, though. Uh, uh, any worse and we'd all be dead. Where is the other green one? Uh, wishing we had better seatbelts. Still breathing. Hmm? on our ship. Well, that can't be good. Where is he? Where is he? Pain! Get down here! I mean, up here! Whatever! Stupid, stubby little arms. Man, it is nice being so tall. Yes, I get it. You're the friggin' chosen one. We're all going to be red pasted a second if you don't help me. <clears throat> Careful with that. <sighs> My baby, give it. Another nanosecond, and we all would have been atomized. Still looks like it'll blow up to me. It sure ain't no toy. We get pushed around by a lot of dangerous jerks. I built this bad boy to push back. <laughs> ain't she a beaut? Still, if you had something that dangerous on board, you should have told me. Us. You should have told us. I told Groot! <sighs> so this is how I die. The Mad Titan arrives. He is heading towards those ruins. Looks like the Nova Corps failed. It's up to us to take him down. Just the five of us. And that gun. <laughs> Thanos, <laughs> through there, I smell his evil stench. That door is not gonna budge so easily. <laughs> yeah, it will. Okay, so this gun ain't totally, you know, operational yet. And it only has one shot. But think of it as a feature. Yeah. I mean, you can't harness enough energy to atomize a biggish moon or smallish planet without some drawbacks. Right? Am I right? Yeah. I'm disappointed in me, too. We all are. Let's see. Think I see a way over. Tread lightly, Star Lord. Thanos must not detect our presence. I'm not going to tread at all. Are you injured? Say something. Oh, my spine. It 
is in so many more pieces now. Oh, don't be so dramatic. Find the Nova Corps. Yeah, um, they're all dead. Hang on, I'll find you guys a way through. Ooh. Hey, now, that could do some damage. You there? What's up? What's going on over there, man? I found a crashed Nova Corps ship right smack through the wall. Yeah, ouch. Yeah. I think its guns can blast the door open, but I can't get into the cockpit. Check the side. Should be an access override panel. I, uh, might have stripped one of these ships for parts before. Found the panel, but I can't get it open. Yeah, you're gonna need an override chip to access it. High-ranking officers usually carry them. Maybe I can figure out who was in charge. Well, I've got the time scanner. Bingo! I'd eat you. Got it. Booyah! Yes, that was surprising. This is a Cree temple. They are a technologically advanced species. Strong of body, powerful of military. What is Thanos even doing here? What does he want with this place? Guess we'll find out. I know one thing for certain. I gotta get this thing working or we're all dead. I'm almost done tinkering. Promise. Just a little more calibrating and this baby will sing. That gun better be worth all the trouble. Have I ever built anything less than incredible? I am... That's right. The answer is no. Hey, I think this can take us down. If the controls aren't too damaged. Eh, no big deal, Gams. I can undamage them. I am Groot. And Groot says he's worried we bit off more than we can chew. Why don't you relax, you big wooden baby? We're just going deeper into the old creepy temple. More than I could chew? Ha! Yeah, you put something in this mouth, and I'm gonna chew it. I'm gonna chew it so hard that you- Peter, stop. There. Good as new. The time has come. Either Thanos falls, or we do. On my planet, before a great battle, our fearless leader would rally the troops with his words. Thanos is done terrorizing the innocent people of this galaxy. It's time for payback. Yes. Revenge. Always a noble pursuit. Take you down. 
wrestle with the Nova Corps, but as you can see, Guardians... Now that I have this, I shall roll through the galaxy like a great wave, crushing the bones of every inhabitant and the civilizations of every planet I uh, pass. Oh, let me guess, it's a ancient super weapon. Or something. The Eternity Forge. Called it! Daughter, you have aligned yourself with such pathetic creatures. I was never your daughter. Then you will die an adversary. Yeah, that's not happening, big guy. Your actions are futile. You cannot kill me. for training me to kill. I'll put it to good use. You are 
<laughs> you have failed. Guardians of the galaxy. You cannot even guard yourselves. The galaxy is mine. Smile, you son of a... No way. <gasps> That's what you get, punk! Thanos is dead! <laughs> About friggin' time! Tired of looking at that wrinkly chin of his! Guess this relic is useless. Huh. <laughs> but this gun wasn't! Who dead? You dead! Rocket, you quit it! Dead? Yes! Hey, hey, dude! Stop, stop kicking He me. ain't getting any deader! We must respect the Fallen. Yeah, respect this, Thanos. We are victorious. The biggest terror the galaxy has ever known is no more. I am Groot! I... I never thought this would happen. Yeah! What do we do now? Satisfactory. Then we drink for them. I know how much this means to you. Now, I can join my family in the afterlife. Without regret. I was not there to save my family before. But now, that I have exterminated Thanos, my redemption is complete. I'm rude. <laughs> totally right. 
He said Peter killed Thanos, not you, big guy. Nonsense. Clearly, I got my revenge. He didn't see. My hands are too strong. I would break such a puny device. Yeah, excuses always help. Uh, technically, uh, you know, I was the one that shot Thanos, but, uh... I expect this from the tree and rodent, but from you... I am no longer in the mood to celebrate. Yes, 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 this is the gun that blew a hole in Thanos, but no! You can't do shots on me. Okay, maybe just one. <laughs> hey, Rocket. So, as I was saying, I built this brilliant, beautiful piece of machinery with my own two hands. I can tell. You're impressed by my uh, technological virility. Ain't nobody in the universe can do what I do. Huh. You're just lucky I'm a good shot. Ooh! And you're lucky this gun ain't got another charge. What is your problem, Quill? We just killed the biggest bad guy in the universe, and you can't even let me enjoy it for one second? Nah, I don't need this. Maybe me and Groot should go back to being just a duo. Focus on the stuff that really matters. Making money. What good is saving the galaxy if you won't even share the credit? <laughs> Aren't you being a little rash? The party just started. You're already talking about baby. You're the one who ruined it, Quill. Ah, I'm going back to the ship. Rocket, come on. You all wouldn't last a week without me. I am... Groot. I'm gonna need your help, Groot. We can't let Rocket leave the Guardians. I am Groot. Drinking out of a galactic super weapon, I see. to see you're enjoying yourself. You kicked incredible amounts of ass today. Thanos is all kinds of dead. Yeah, I know. It's been a complicated day. How about a refill? Why not? On my way. You disrespectful human! How dare you! Hey! Watch where you're going. Same to you, Star Lord. Guess not everyone's a fan. At least I managed not to drop this. My hero. I try. Thanos murdered your people. I... I thought you'd be... happier once he was gone. He was a monster, yes. But he was also my family. I can't make sense of it. Being upset is okay, Gamora. This has got to be a lot to handle. At least I have all you guys to distract me. Thinking about Nebula. Your sister? I called her that. We both called Thanos father. He used to force us to fight to prove who was worthy of being called his daughter. I won. We couldn't stop until there was blood on the ground. That is messed up. Yeah, it is. But Nebula believed it was normal to fight and kill for what you want. 
Nav stabbed me while I was sleeping. Because I won. Imagine how she's gonna react when she finds out we killed Thanos. She loves him, I think. In her own way. Oh, she is gonna be pissed. No kidding. There's a small part of me that wants to see my sister again. But when she finds out what we did, she's gonna lose her mind. She'll hunt us all down and kill us. You don't know Nebula. Like you said, she's your sister. Trust me, family's worth fighting for. Maybe you're right. I'll try to call her. After a few more of these. Two family. Huh? Two family. Where is everyone? Yeah, uh, Drax and I have a little, uh, difference of opinion. And Rocket and Groot? Rocket might also be mad at me. <laughs> this should be good. all over for you. Uh, why? We got a big, big problem. Okay. It was not my fault. I barely consumed my body weight in that toxic liquid. Hey, I was surrounded by adoring fans. I couldn't let them go thirsty. Oh, I don't care who ordered all the drinks. We need to figure out how to pay our tab. Pete's gonna love my solution. You know I always got genius ideas, right? You need a plan, you go to Rocket. That's the deal. I'm just making good on it. Yeah, whatever it is, I'm sure it's brilliant. Why, thank you. It certainly is. We're gonna sell Thanos' body! I am... That is... not a bad idea. Selling a corpse? How could that be profitable? There are people who would find it valuable. Exactly. And I know just the guy. The Collector. He loves buying exotic crap for his museum, so Thanos, the newly dead Titan, will be perfect. He'll pay you tons of units for that body. These are the kind of people you want to be rubbing elbows with, Pete. I love everything about this. And I love you for loving it. Or... we could turn Thanos over to the Nova Corps. They've had an official bounty on his head for years. Plus, it comes with the added benefit of not having to deal with criminals, like the Collector. He's a corrupt thug, bottom line. But the Nova Corps, they maintain peace and order in the galaxy. Good thinking, Gamora. Thank you, Peter. Guys, we just killed the biggest, baddest criminal in history. We shouldn't turn right around and become one ourselves. <sighs> Working with the Nova Corps is the right thing to do. You're being a greedy little rodent right oh, now. Oh, as if you're so high and mighty, green lady. You suddenly forgot all the innocent people you murdered for that psycho? I remember each and every one. Not that you'd understand. You do whatever the hell you want, whenever you want. Hey, Rocket, cut it out. Way too far. You kidding me with this, Pete? This is why I need a friggin' break. It's Peter's call, Rocket. Not yours. Enjoy staring at my furry backside, chumps. I mean, how bad could the Collector be? Greetings, I'm Vili, the Collector's representative. I, uh, heard you guys might be in the market for the biggest threat the galaxy has ever known. You have Thanos? The Mad Titan? Got his big purple corpse right here. My boss has significant resources, and could pay handsomely for such a rare specimen. So long as the body is in museum quality condition, of course. Such as, no signs of advanced decomposition, excessive damage to the face or skeleton. Well, besides, you know, being dead, Thanos never looked better. Very well. Then we can make a deal. Send me your coordinates, and I'll be there shortly with some 
Associates. To examine the specimen personally. Associates? Just make sure the body is there. Are you serious? Dealing with the Collector? That's a dangerous path we're going down. And I have a feeling it's not going to end well. It really does with creeps like him. Ah, you worry too much. Look, it's gonna be 100% A-OK. -okay. Ugh, if you say so. Consider this side of the argument, Gamora. Money. Money! These people do not mess around, Peter. When they see the hole in that body... Don't worry, Gamora. Listen, I'll throw in that relic. Okay, it'll help sweeten the deal. Hey, that's a great idea! And we can get even more units! <laughs> oh, come on, where did I put that thing? Found you. I'm gonna kill him. Ugh. She broke it, Mom. That doesn't mean it was okay to hit that boy. Violence isn't the answer to every problem. If I let him push me around, it'll only get worse. You're right. You should stand up for yourself. But you need to find a way to do that without getting suspended. You gave me this for my birthday. I mean, you should be pissed <laughs> off, too. <clears throat> and what he did was wrong, but... But you, you don't just go punching every person who makes you mad. Especially not someone who's three grades above you. I mean, that kid practically shaves. What? I could have taken him. Uh-uh, don't get cocky, kid. I'm thinking, from the look of things, he took you. This can't keep happening, Peter. I know I haven't been home as much lately, but that's all the more reason I need you to step up and take some responsibility. I know. Then you know tomorrow you're apologizing to that boy. And I mean a real apology. No smart Alex stuff. I'm not apologizing to him. That guy was an a-hole! Peter! Language! I only said A, Mom. Come on. Uh-huh. You and I both know what that letter means. You're making it real hard to see your side of this. When you act this way, it's like you're only thinking of yourself. What we need is a little perspective. Sometimes it takes stepping back from your problems to see how small they actually are. Beautiful. <coughs> These last few months haven't been easy. For either of us. But, um... I'm not always gonna be here. I worry about you. I know, Mom. I'll, I'll do better. I know you will. You're gonna be around long after I'm gone. I just... Don't want you to be alone. <coughs> Mom? <coughs> I'm fine, baby. It's nothing. <clears throat> it's just the dust. I know you've got a lot on your mind. But that kid you fought, maybe he does too. Promise me in the future you'll use your words instead of your fists. I can't promise that. I don't know what's gonna happen next time. Well, try. For me. You fixed it! Hell! What can I say, huh? 
I'm pretty good. Hey, oh, great song. Someone with exceptional taste must have introduced you to this one. Uh-huh. <laughs> <laughs> Come find me, Peter. What? The relic will show you the way. Hey! Hey, huh? hey! Hello? You losing it or something? This thing ain't a person, you know. That was incredibly weird. Care to elaborate? Come on, what just happened? I'm not really sure. You've been standing here for hours talking to this thing. Hours? Yeah. The collector's guys are waiting for us. Don't tell me you forgot. Okay. Uh, yeah. Hey, you okay to go out there? You look like you just seen a ghost. I can't have you going out there all crazy-eyed in front of them. And you are acting... You're acting weird, all right? Never mind. It, it was nothing. It was... It was just a dream. That wasn't no dream, Pete. <sighs> when I grabbed the relic, I... I was suddenly back on Earth. And my... Mom was there. Isn't she... dead? I know, I, I know, I know she is. I just... Somehow it didn't... feel that way. Sounds like I'm not the only one who needs a break. Come on, we shouldn't keep him waiting. You still want to sell this thing, or... We are uh... not selling it. Fine, sure. Whatever. All right. Showtime. Let's go. This is a bad idea. I can mutter opinions under my breath, too. I must admit, I'm surprised you contacted us. I know your Nova Corps connections would disapprove of this decision. They've been trying to shut down our operation for years. Something about the legality of capturing and detaining specimens against their will. <sighs> but being displayed in our museum, that is a status of high honor. I didn't do it for you. I did it for the cold, hard units. Oh, we never inquire as to the motivations of our clients. Because they are often illegal. <laughs> Play nice, Gamora. Show him to me. What? Y you said the body never looked better? Nah, I barely notice it. This is completely unacceptable. I can't bring Thanos' body to the Collector with a giant hole in it! He will kill me, and then he will send people after you. My employer requires all his specimens to be in pristine condition. Not broken, burned, or missing half a torso. This is a damaged good. We had a deal. Well, the deal was for museum quality. You know who wouldn't have worried about this issue? Huh. The Nova Corps. You know who should shut up? Here's the new deal, Star-Lord. I'm taking the Mad Titan. Given the condition of his body, the Collector himself will need to personally appraise it. Only then will he authorize payment. If you wish to be compensated, you will agree to these terms. No, 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 wait, Will. We'll take the body. As is. Hmm. You aren't the pushovers we suspected you to be. Is she? The Collector respects that. We consider this an investment in a very profitable future. Is how you make money. You, PQ, are my personal hero! Up top.
Peter Quill! We must finish what we started. I cannot delay any longer. My leader demands it. I am Groot? Don't know what the hell he's blabbing on about. If you want me to punch you in the face, then... Yeah, standing in my way is a good place to start. You cannot fight us all. <laughs> all? You have something I desire. The Eternity Forge. And since Jinzar could not retrieve it earlier, I must take it myself. I will not fail you again, Hana. <gasps> she an ex-girlfriend of yours? I know you dated some crazies, but this is a whole nother level. Why? You interested, Rocket? No! Maybe! I don't know! Let's see how this pans out! Both of you, shut up and start fighting back! I'll protect the money! Rocket! Retrieve the relic. Have what we came for. Stop! Uh! Rocket, we need the ship. Engines are down. It's gonna take them. We can't wait. They're getting away. I'm coming with you. There's only one pack. Allow me to fight beside you, Star Lord. I did not kill Thanos. At least let me kill these blue warriors. Look at the size of that warship. You can't fight your way through that. Take me, and they'll never even know we were there. Let us paint her ship red with blood from the inside. Gamora, you're with me. As you wish. Kill all the Kree for me, Star-Lord. If you do not, I shall never forgive you. Wow, 
Watch yourself. There's the airlock. Right behind you. Gamora! <sighs> Thanks. Anytime. Looks clear. Let's get moving. Uh, would be nice if you'd fill me in here. Yesterday, that relic was nothing to you. I mean, you drank out of it. Now you're blindly chasing it into a Kree warship? What aren't you telling me? I... I don't understand. Back on the Milano, it showed me something. Uh, a vision. I was back home. And it felt so real. My mom told me to come find her. You saw your dead mom in a dream? We don't know what this thing is. Honestly, I'm just as confused as you are. Confusion or not, that relic is dangerous. Who knows what else it's capable of? Look, we just need to get the relic back. All right, Peter. Whatever you say. Huh? What the hell? Those are pictures of... This is more tomb than warship. Don't let your guard down, Gamora. There's gotta be some Kree still alive. Yeah. We did see them on Nowhere. So where are they? Hey! Gamora! I'm game if you are. Perfect. Lead the way. Do not worry, sweet one. You shall be back by my side soon. Once we return home, the process can begin. Few survive an encounter with me and return for more. Peter Quill. It's pronounced Star-Lord. One more step and she dies. It will be easy to... Remove her head. Do not test me. I see you care little for your friends. I cannot lose my son again. You will not take him from me. I have been searching for so long. No one will stand in my way. I lost someone too. Someone I loved. I am sorry. But this is much larger than a single life. Thanos eradicated my people. Destroyed my planet. Now that you have killed him, 
The Eternity Forge will be our salvation. You have no idea what this means to me. To the Kree, our rightful place in the stars shall be restored. I know what it's capable of. It let me relive a memory with my mom. It can do so much more than that. You really do not know how this works, do you? You said you lost your mother. Would you kill someone to bring her back? No. I'd never do that. I thought as you once did. Until everything was taken from me. Billions of Kree have died. Bringing them all back will require many sacrifices. I will not rest until we have conquered every star system in the galaxy. Starting with you! No! with me, Peter. Hey! Peter! What happened? Are you... I... am Groot? I don't know, buddy. I hope so. Hey, guys. This is your fault, Green Witch. You allowed him to die. As if you could have done any better. Either of you. Yeah, go on. Blame the guy who rescued you. Please. Peter. Peter, no. I'll give you some time to say goodbye. You know, your mom would smack you upside the head she saw you moping over her like this. Quills ain't no little babies. The hell do you know, mister? You don't know my mom, and you don't know me. I know a lot more than you think. Ah! You better pull it together, boy. 
Because I'm the closest thing you got to family right now. Now let's get. I don't want to be on this planet any longer than I have to. What the hell are you? What? What? <laughs> well, ain't you got a scrot on you? The name's Yandu Udanta. Your ma wrote me into taking care of you if something ever happened. Something happened. Now, you can come with me easy. Or am I gonna have a fight on my hands? Won't do you much good. You're a bony little scrap of nothing. I can take you without needing to lift a finger. If I go with you, what's in it for me? Not being alone, you'll be part of my crew. So what's it gonna be? All right. I'm ready to get out of here. I trust you. That a boy. Come on. Let me show you your new home. Don't worry, my little Star-Lord. I'm here to help you. It'll be all right. Am I... dead? You are, but you have nothing to fear. Come find me, Peter. I'll be waiting for you. <gasps> oh. <laughs>